These are the Celosia plants I harvested seed stems from. Celosia varieties are generally divided into three types. Plume, Celosia plumosa, coxcomb, Celosia cristata, or wheat, Celosia spicata. Growing here, I believe, is a mixture of more than one variety, but I neglected to label the stems. So I guess I'll just find out which ones I collected when they flower. Anyway, let's grow the seeds. I've placed the seed stems in a little plate so you can get a better view of what they look like. And place your seed stems in some type of a baggie and just shake them up and gently mash them a little bit and you will see the little black seeds will just fall out quite easily and naturally. They're right here in the corner. The seeds are so small that I'm just going to sprinkle, I don't know, 20 seeds or so in there. Note, most websites recommend burying the seeds about one quarter inch, half a centimeter, below the soil. In this pot, I placed them on top and in other starter containers, I buried them as recommended. And to be honest, I did not experience much of a difference in germination success rates. But to be safe, I suggest you cover your seeds with at least a thin layer of soil. And I am putting them in a rather large uh, container. It's about six and a half inches wide. Normally you should leave about six inches between each plant. And if you wish, you can sort of pat them down. Of course, you can't see them once they're on the soil. And if you live in a dry environment, you may wish to keep them in some kind of container that has a top so that they maintain a higher humidity level. It's been two weeks now, and out of all those seeds, only one sprouted. Very disappointing, and I'm really surprised too. I know you get a very low percentage, but this is terrible. Let's go back to the drawing board and try this again. This time I'm going to use three small containers and I am going to place about 10 seeds in each one of these containers. And this time we're going to cover them with about a quarter inch of soil, which is about half a centimeter. And it looks like I've actually got two sprouts here. So a bit of improvement. I think mainly this is a numbers game and you only get about one sprout for every 10, maybe 15 seeds. So you really just have to put in a lot of seeds. It's been another 10 days and we've got one more sprout. So it really seems that this is a numbers game because you get a very low success rate and also these seeds take a little longer to germinate than I thought. They might take up to three weeks or so to germinate. It's been two weeks now and we have pretty much the expected results. We have two sprouts from this pot, one in this pot, and in this pot unfortunately we haven't any sprouts at all. And this falls in line with the general success rate of between 10 and maybe 20% from these seeds. This is the original pot after four weeks. And I actually have gotten a couple of new sprouts. And you can also see there's one coming up here. Hopefully that one will live. It looks pretty frail. So we've got four in uh, our main pot here. The success rate is low and sometimes it can take weeks for the seeds to germinate. It's been another two weeks. So for this large pot here, this is a total of six weeks worth of growth. And I've got four nice seedlings and these two are sort of close together. So I am going to thin out one. So I will leave three seedlings in this pot. This is the second set of seeds that I started two weeks after the first pot. 
So these are now four weeks old. And in this little one here, um, I've got three seedlings. One of them's really small and I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to let these seedlings grow another couple weeks and then I'm going to transplant them into a separate pot. So I will have three plants in another pot. Here's what you need to know. Number one, and most importantly, it was my experience that you get a very low germination rate. Don't be surprised if you only get a 10 to 15% success rate. So plan accordingly when you sow your seeds. Number two, seeds can take a long time to germinate. Be patient. Though some seeds will start growing in a week or so, it can take up to three or even four weeks for germination. Number three, keep it warm. Celosia like a warm and humid climate. So try to keep your seeds above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius, and ideally even warmer. I believe keeping these three factors in mind will make your seed growing process easier and more successful. You can find notes in the description below. I will be monitoring the progress of these plants and hopefully make another video showing their growth and flowering. Happy gardening! Click on the community tab for updates and previews of upcoming videos. Click on the playlist tab for videos grouped by subject. See ya!